The word says, the race is not for the swift. When we live our life, the race that we run, it's important to focus on God. Focus forward, don't look left, don't look right. Because He is the author and the finisher of your faith. He is the author and the finisher of your destination. He will lead you and guide you through every course of your life. Choose Him and surrender to Him. Keep walking, walk worthy, walk by faith, walk not by sight, but walk in the obedience of Jesus. Let's talk about our walk with Jesus. Welcome to Walk Talk, where we talk about our walk with Jesus. Welcome to another episode where today we are going to talk about the most important thing in the life of a believer, which is prayer. I want you to know prayer is one of the most important things that we all need to know, do and practice and execute in our walk with Jesus Christ. You know, many times, especially people like me, we are involved in ministry and we're always working for God. But it's very important for us to work with God. And how do we work with God? The only way we can do that is by knowing what are His plans for us in our life. What is His, His desires for us in our life? What is His vision for our life? And how do we know that? How do we get that revelation? Through prayer. Now, if I would say, what is prayer? It's very important for you to know. It's not just some mumbling that we do. It's not just some thing that we just, we just speak about and we ramble on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And all of these kind of things, which is good. It's not bad. But I want you to understand, I want to define prayer in a completely different form. Prayer is physical permission for heavenly intervention. Physical permission for heavenly intervention. I want, I want to explain that to you. But before I explain that to you, you need to understand that God has created man as mind, body, spirit. We are not a body, but we are a spirit living in a body with a soul. What does that mean? God made us this way because he wanted to have a representation of us on earth. He made us in his image. Man was created in his image. And when you look about the word image, it does not necessarily mean the physical features, but the characteristics, the, the, the way that God is, he made us in that own image, the, the way we, we perceive and the way the authority that God has given us. That's why Genesis, it's in 126, it says, go have dominion over things over this earth. So that's why we want you to know that, we, I want you to know that even God cannot break his rule. He made man in his physical body with a spirit and a soul so that he can have community with us, whether so that he can have communion with us. Which is why when we accept Jesus Christ in our life, when we accept Jesus Christ in our heart, he comes into the temple of our heart, the temple of our life. He comes into our heart. Nobody can see it, nobody can feel, touch it, but we can surely feel the presence of God in our lives. So imagine this, God cannot do anything on earth without the help of a human being. Did you know that? You thought you were just praying and mumbling just like that. But I want you to know that whatever God did, he needed man to participate and partake with him. That's why he, he says that we are his hands, we are his feet. Why? God who owns, who is omnipotent, who is omniscient, who, who owns everything that we see and do and feel and touch in our five senses. Why does he need somebody like us? Because he made us in his image, which is why when you look at a, a demonic spirit, what does a demonic spirit try to do? Demonic spirit, a spirit is an illegal thing. That's why when we die, we become spirit. We become illegal people on this earth. Why? Because we are only legal citizens on earth until we have a body. Why does a demonic spirit try to get into a body? Because it wants to become a legal citizen on earth. So when God requires Ranjit, 
to do something. So when I open my mouth and I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you enable me, Lord, to do a great work. Lord, through, through your stripes, I am healed. Lord, I pray that you I am the head and not the tail. God, I know that not even one hair on my head will be, will be shaken without your permission. Well, Lord, I pray, Lord, let healing come into that body. Lord, I pray, Lord, let that demonic uh, demonic person be, be healed in Jesus' name, Lord. Let the lame walk. Let the dead rise. Let the blind see. When we open up our mouth, according to our faith in Jesus, according to the word of God, what happens? We give physical permission for heavenly intervention. Amen. So when you open your mouth, Jesus says, I'm ready, let's go. I'm ready, Moses. I'm ready to part the Red Sea. Open, put your staff out, open your mouth. Amen. Today, I want you to know that when you pray next time, don't just be sitting lethargically. Oh my God, I need to pray. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, God, God. It's repeating things, babbling things. But today, get ready to say, God, I'm giving you physical permission for heavenly intervention. God, I pray into these situations. God, I pray for my family. I pray for my children. I pray for my parents. I pray for my city. I pray for my, my church because God wants somebody to open up, confess, confess. That's why the word of the Lord says, if you want to be saved, you just can't, cannot just say, I believe. You have to open your mouth you believe with your with your heart and you confess with your mouth when your confession and your faith and your belief they come together that's when the miracle takes place when you open your mouth in faith and you believe that when you pray to the Lord God your God and he will hear you he will hear and he will heal your land he will he will break every chain he will provide in every way you are giving physical permission for heavenly intervention in your life and in your family's life so start praying start believing and start seeing the miraculous work of God and hand of God upon your life upon your family's life in Jesus name God bless you